Hello. In this review, we'll talk about the Russian drone, Supercam S-350, also known simply as Supercam 350, and its subsequent version, the SCAT 350M. I'll tell you what these drones are all about, what other modifications have been made, and what purposes they are used for. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. It helps make our content even better. Let's burn. The Supercam S350 drone is one of the members of the Supercam drone family, produced by the Unmanned Systems Group of Companies, which is part of the Kalashnikov concern. Like a number of other drones, including the Granat 4 and the Lancet, the Supercam drones didn't attract much attention before 2022. They were mainly developed for civilian purposes, for localizing fires, monitoring infrastructure, and carrying out tasks typically handled by emergency services. However, with the beginning of the military conflict between Russia and Ukraine, the subject of this review found a new role, conducting reconnaissance, directing artillery fire, and observing various targets. Since 2022, many people have learned for the first time about this drone. Since then, production of the Supercam S350 and its modifications has ramped up, and in early 2024, it was announced that an upgraded version had been introduced, the SCAT 350M. The Supercam S350 is designed using a flying wing configuration. It is assembled prior to launch, the wing is attached to the central body, the propeller blades are unfolded, batteries and payload are installed depending on the mission, and then it is launched using a catapult. It is transported in a special case, and a separate case houses a laptop with the necessary control software for operating the UAV. The weight of the Supercam S350 ranges from 9.5 to 11.5 kilograms, depending on the payload used. It has a wingspan of 3.2 meters. An electric motor is installed at the front of the drone. In transport mode, the propeller blades are folded, they are deployed and fixed before launch. Up to two batteries can be used depending on the mission requirements. A parachute is also located in the central section. The Supercam S350 is made from composite materials. It can stay airborne for up to 4.5 hours, although this depends on temperature conditions. In temperatures below 5 degrees Celsius, the battery life is reduced to about 3 hours. The cruising speed is 65 km per hour, while the maximum speed can reach up to 120 km per hour. It can cover distances of up to 240 km and fly at altitudes ranging from 150 to 5,000 meters. It is also capable of operating in wind gusts up to 15 meters per second. The Supercam S350 is equipped with an autopilot system. The mission it is supposed to carry out can be uploaded prior to launch. There are two operating modes available, automatic and semi-automatic. In automatic mode, the mission is uploaded before takeoff, and the operator monitors its execution from a ground control station. The display shows the drone's route, current position, and sensor feed. This may include live video from an electro-optical sensor, still images if a photo camera is installed, or thermal imagery if a thermal sensor is used. Additionally, sensor data is transmitted to the control station, where a second operator can manage the onboard sensors. The Supercam S350 uses GPS or GLONASS for navigation. In automatic mode, it flies toward the target without operator intervention. If rerouting is needed, the operator can select a point on the map, and the UAV will adjust its course accordingly. The radio signal transmission range is between 70 and 100 kilometers, while video transmission range varies from 50 to 100 kilometers. The drone is also equipped with an automatic return to launch function. When the command is issued, the Supercam returns to the launch site. It will also return automatically if the battery charge is too low, or if connection with the ground station is lost. During landing, the parachute deploys and the drone flips to ensure the sensors are facing upward, helping to protect them from impact. In semi-automatic mode, flight control can be performed directly from the ground station. The operator can manually set the flight path, altitude, and other parameters. The onboard radio system consists of a video transmitter and a telemetry and command transceiver. The drone is also equipped with an inertial correction system and an onboard video recorder. The Supercam S350 provides three mounting points for payloads. It can simultaneously carry up to two photo cameras with different resolutions, electro-optical sensors with 10x and 33x zoom, a thermal imager, a multi-spectral camera, a radiation background sensor, 
a laser gas analyzer, and a laser scanner. The system also includes a ground antenna unit for control and telemetry with an analog video receiver. The antenna is mounted on a tripod. In 2024, an upgraded version of the SuperCam was introduced, the SuperCam S350M. Its maximum takeoff weight was reduced by 2 kilograms, which extended its flight time by an additional hour. This upgrade also increased its maximum range to up to 280 kilometers. The drone has become more resistant to interference, in part due to the increase in communication channels, from 12 to 24. It can now support enhanced sensors, allowing for higher quality video feeds. This version can also function as a signal relay. A radio signal relay device can be installed onboard. For example, when using two SuperCam S350M drones equipped with such relays, it's possible to transmit a signal over distances of up to 200 kilometers. Additionally, the drone can be used for laser target designation, which expands its targeting capabilities. Thanks to improvements in both the drone and the communication systems, as well as upgrades to the ground control station, it is now possible to transmit live video feeds to other users. For instance, artillery units can receive real-time visuals and target data at their ground control stations. This version also allows for the integration of a compact electronic warfare module designed to counter FPV drones. Another variation of this drone features vertical takeoff capabilities, the SuperCam SX350, also known as the SuperCam SX350 FV Tall. This tilt rotor model has two additional rotors on each side, allowing for vertical takeoff and landing. As you might guess, this version doesn't require an elastic catapult. The VTOL variant can stay airborne for up to 120 minutes. It has a radio communication range of up to 50 kilometers, with the same range for video transmission. The maximum speed remains at 120 kilometers per hour, and its service ceiling is 5,000 meters. Like other versions, it supports a wide range of payloads depending on the mission. The year 2024 saw not only the release of the SuperCam S350M, but also the introduction of another enhanced version, the SCAT 350M. Visually, the SCAT 350M differs slightly from its predecessor. The central fuselage and wings were redesigned to improve aerodynamics. The airframe was reinforced, making it more durable, electronics were upgraded, allowing several processes to be fully automated. Additionally, interference resistance was improved. The wingspan remains the same, 3.2 meters. The maximum speed also stayed at 120 kilometers per hour. However, the weight increased. The drone now weighs 15 kg. It still uses an electric motor. Due to the added weight, the maximum flight altitude has been reduced to 2,000 meters. It can remain airborne for up to 4 hours. The maximum communication range is 100 kilometers, and the same applies to real-time video transmission. The SCAT 350M is launched using either an elastic or pneumatic catapult. A parachute is still used for landing. The ground control station has also been upgraded. The ground transceiver unit now supports 32 video signal channels. Additional antennas have been installed, allowing for software-based switching between wide and narrow beam antennas. Enhanced sensors can be used with the drone, including electro-optical sensors with 30x and 60x zoom, thermal imagers, photo cameras, and more. The ground control station still consists of a laptop housed in a specialized case with the required software. Kalashnikov Concern has stated that it is continuing development on this UAV, exploring the possibility of equipping it with a wider range of payloads, both for military and civilian purposes. There are also plans to further increase the drone's range and interference resistance. Kalashnikov is actively promoting the SCAT 350M to international buyers. Like the SuperCam S350, it has seen widespread use by the Russian military during the conflict between Russia and Ukraine, with proven results. As you know, any combat-tested tech tends to attract particular interest worldwide. Buyers know exactly what they're paying for. Well, that wraps up our overview of the SuperCam S350 and the SCAT 350M drones. I'm sure you found this video interesting and informative. Don't forget to subscribe and click like. That's all from me, wishing you clear skies. See you next time.